M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So this radio has come from Martin Lynch, it's an Anytone 878. I have moaned to them about the uh, packaging. I've said that especially heavy radios should be double, double wrapped. They don't think so, but I think they should because I received two radios that had um, dents in the corner. So I have specifically asked that they package items thoroughly for me because I really do value having a box that's in excellent condition, especially on a big radio like a FT710, which came with a, a big dent in the corner because it only had very thin bubble wrap and some sort of brown paper or plastic, very thin, which I don't think is adequate. But anyway, you know, <coughs> it's not my business. So anyway, I can see now that this has been packaged well, packaged in the same way that I would package a radio if I sold it. If I sold a radio, I would make sure that that radio could not be damaged by the the couriers. We know that couriers, you can write fragile a hundred times on a radio. A courier doesn't even care. They just chuck it around like a football. And so there you are. So right, okay, well, why have I really got the Anytone 878? Well, it's an excellent radio. I had it before, um, but it developed a fault. And... Uh, so I thought, well, I'll just get another one. This is the Anytone 878 UV Plus. has DMR, receive and transmit. They're, they are literally excellent radios. I also have the, the GD88, which is a very advanced DMR radio. Here it is here, and I absolutely love it. It's like two radios in one. It receives two digital hotspots at the same time. It's a highly functional radio, quite a lot to learn, quite hard to get a ready-made code plug. Um, there is an MM7 DBT uh, Coplug editor to use, so I recommend. I've made lots of videos on it, but anyway. So here's the 878, and look, this is perfect. Thank you very much, Martin Lynch. A properly packaged radio that has come to me in perfect condition. This is how I want my brand new radio to be, because this that's why I didn't buy, this is why I didn't buy a used radio. When you get a used radio, you don't mind a few dents and bumps. Of course, of course you don't, because it's because it's, you bought it used, and you bought it for a lower price. When you buy new, you want it to be perfect. So anyway, here's the radio. Now I noticed that they have changed the green button now. When these first came out, it was like a bright green button, but now it's almost like a, I don't know what the color is, a bluey green, before it was the blue one before, then it went green, now it's bluey green. Not sure why I've done that, but it's a very good quality item, this. And I should be able to get it running in seconds, just, using the VFO and my hotspots running in the background, which I do need to plug in. In the box, we get our Bluetooth PTT, which I've tested many times, works great. You get the programming lead. I've got several of them now. <laughs> uh, charging lead for the Bluetooth device. Oh, interestingly, there's two in there. Two, two ends, two micro ends. But only one beginning. That's, I've, I've never seen that before. Now, is that because you have to charge more than what? I don't understand why that is, but I'm not complaining. So yeah, the um, the plug for the mains adapter. Let's see if we can get that open. I'm sure we'll do that in a bit. This holds the PTT, the Bluetooth PTT. Antennas, and I always think the antennas on the 878 work fine. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people change them, but I think they work fine, it, you know. But I agree, when you look at it, you don't go, wow, that's an amazing antenna. So, okay, and then the charging dock, which we're not going to use now. So let's just get the radio, if we can find the battery. Okay, there's your battery. The battery on these is like almost like a, a car battery. It's just really good. 3100 milliamps, 7.4 volts, but... Let's move that one out of the way. So we just put that on there. I've got some screen protectors for the front. So I always put them on, let's turn it on. Let's just see if we can just go straight to VFO mode. We'll try. Hopefully it's got some charge. And the problem with the last one I have, I just confirmed the date for now, was the APRSTX. It just, it just wouldn't do it. 
regardless of the settings that I used. So there's your first time boot up. And we'll put in the frequency of my hotspot, which is four, three, one, five, five, zero, zero, zero. And um, digital. So we should pick something up. I know a DMR is not in there. Let's just check. Right, we've got it programmed up. So I'll try and show you it briefly. So you just you need to add a channel. Let me just. When I always use a code plug, but if you want to do it by hand, you just go menu, like so. Then go down to settings. Let's go through about menu. Settings, channel, go past new channel, go to channel type and say select digital if you want your hotspot. Forget the power for now, offset, forget that, bandwidth, receive frequency, press that, put your frequency in. You can go back and it hasn't deleted it, go back twice. Then TX frequency, same again. You can name it. Actually, no, you can't, it's a VFO mode, so forget name. Forget TX allow, you don't need any of that. Radio ID, you do need that. Push that twice, put in your DMR number. Then go back. Okay. Color code, push, we're always selecting with this button. Color code one for now. Time slot two most of the time, select that. Receive group, don't really need that. Once you've done that, got your frequency and you do need to select, uh, let me think now, you need to select in those same settings, just remember as you were going down that list, channel set, remember you get to get the one, go to the one that gives you your call sign. Radio ID is your DMR number. And then I think it's radio name. If I've gone straight past it. Radio name is your call sign. Why can't I find it? Radio ID, color code, name. There is their name. No, that's the channel name. Let me just find it a sec. So you go channel set number two, select, then go to number 13. You put your radio ID in, select it. That's your DMR number. When you go back, you go down one more. Now actually go select, select option then you go edit name to number two and that's where you can put your call sign in and to change between numbers and letters you push the hash and that changes that one two three and also capitals and small letters as well the other thing you could do is if you want to add a, a like a contact number push the red button here list contacts and you can edit a contact look that's good. But the best way to do it is just to go hold down the zero, push hash so it says talk group, type 91, and then key. And that will get you straight into your a talk group. And if there's activity, you'll hear it. But anyway, we're, we're going to do a, a whole setup on this. But 7-3, thanks for watching my channel. Catch you on now. All the best.